Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We are on a brand new patch for the Binding of Isaac. Indeed we are. It's been a little bit of time and obviously there is a bit of a backlog here so you guys will be getting this a little bit after the patch comes out, probably about a week or two. But yes, there is a new patch, some interesting new changes, of course a lot of bug fixes, but there's been some item buffs such as camo undies and we need to go deeper and there's also been some character changes to blue baby and lazarus interestingly enough lazarus got a pretty big rework here so we're gonna give him a go we're gonna just gonna i know i normally randomize my character we're gonna jump in now one thing i do want to say of course i'm still using all my mods as normal so there's a potential for a crash just because new patches could sometimes have negative interactions but let's see here we go. No crash for us. Of course, we've got to look down straight away. But essentially, for those of you that don't know, the um, the new... Uh, I'm going to leave that there for now because I'm going to come back and uh, get it at a later time. The, the new update to Lazarus here is very interesting. Now, instead of him just having one revive that gives him a stat boost, now he gets a revive of floor. Reviving only removes one heart container... And, on top of that, you gain a permanent 0.5 damage up for each revive. And, while you're playing as Lazarus Risen, instead of a 0 point, uh, 1.2 times damage multiplier, you get a 1.4. So, he is a, a wholeheartedly better character. Also, this is a very, very annoying room. Um, but, because of that, I am going to... Um, I'm going to use his death card over here. But, I'm going to go into that curse room and, and die uh, and grab a thingy in there. So, that was uh, just beautiful usage of my card there uh but yeah so we can kill ourselves to come back and get a uh, black candle after the fact which will be a little better for us i think um and we get quince and that's a just masterful resprite of quince there by the way just looking amazing we've also got a high priestess here so let's uh let's go and high priestess um the boss why not yeah quince is gonna be so good for us here of course, there's pills there, but we don't really need those. Uh, I'll try and keep one entrance here. But yeah, we want to be getting as many stats as we can. I think Quince is going to carry us in the early game nonetheless here. It's a very, very good item. So we'll go into our boss. Stomp. Get a quick kill. Uh, and then we can plant our box here. And we get a very, very good little uh, item there. We'll grab that. We'll check what this is. The lovers. We'll grab our bomb and our penny. I'll pop the pill. Speed down? Eh. It's annoying. Ooh, Toy Box. Toy Box is very good. If we pop that, it's going to um, smelt some random trinkets onto us. We got really good... Well, actually, we got some really good stuff there. It's four trinkets. So we get the... We got the uh, the little one that gives us flight every now and again. We got the Locust of Pestilence. We got Eden's th uh, thingy. E like, Eden's Lock. Which I don't actually know what the Eden's Lock does. Uh, and then we got the Broken Bull. If we don't have an active item, we get a huge stat upgrade. So let's just quickly take a look at our inventory. Oh, not some good stuff. I want to check what this does. Upon taking damage, one of your items is re-rolled into another item. <sighs> that's not very good. <laughs> I do wonder if that's going to be on self-damage as well. If it's on self-damage as well, we might have a problem. But yeah, we can now go in here. Uh, I'm going to destroy these fires quickly. Just to make sure I don't die as, uh, as Lazarus Risen when I come back. I only want one fire available to me. But of course, we've got this really good trinket as well that's going to give us a nice bit of godhead to work with. Really? I accidentally destroyed them all. Anyways, we can we can do this. So now we can come in here. We can grab this. We can full card out. And goddamn, look at our stats. <laughs> look at our stats here. This is this is quite interesting. This is quite interesting indeed. So let's uh, bounce to the next floor. We will grab that and that. I don't know if... We're not, we don't really have a boss that we're going to at the minute, but we can't go down to downpour yet anyways. But yeah, the Broken Bulb especially is going to be good. I'm a little worried about the whole possibly re-rolling our items. Um, shtick here. This is a very horrible room. Yeah, what? what's the best way to do that? <laughs> I genuinely have no idea what's the best way to do that is. Okay, let's uh, crack this to this guy a few times. No, thank you. Um, so what did we end up re-rolling? We've re-rolled Quince, but we re-rolled into Bloody Card, which isn't terrible. 
So now we can go boom, like that. Uh, and we got Golden Clicker. We're getting... This is going to be a really interesting run because of the Eden's Lock now. <laughs> We've created something quite bizarre here. But yeah, I'm just going to... Uh, quickly... Oh, this guy doesn't do contact damage. Quickly kill myself again. And we can grab that. And then we can grab this. Okay, so what the fuck items do we have now? Oh my lord. Our items are going to be changing hands quite a lot, especially because we're going to be killing ourselves a good amount. Of course, as you get into the later floors and have more health, there's going to be less and less opportunity to kill ourselves. But here is another one of the new mods I'm currently using. Someone made a mod that adds in a bunch of new chest varieties. Basically just a small chance to replace regular chests. This is the cardboard box, small chance to replace brown chests. And it has a few different bits of loot in it. Pretty interesting. The the spraying on them leaves something to be desired, I think. But other than that, they're really good. Also, we got a planetarium here. Which, I don't know. Venus is decent enough here. I don't know if a planetarium will, um, will like, it'll, like, stay as a planetarium item or not. I don't know. I'm really not sure about that. It'd be good if it does, like, when it re-rolls, if it stays as a planetarium item, but I kind of feel like it won't. <laughs> so we might be, uh, we might not be keeping Venus all too long. Um. Okay, this is an interesting one. Oh, no, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Why did I do that? I just re I just realized after picking it up, saw the stats and was like, oh no. Um. Also, did that did that door cost a penny to enter then? It looked like it did. Spawns three soul stones on pickup. Will spawn runes if soul stones are not unlocked. That's kind of an interesting one. Let's. Oh, I was gonna say let's grab it. We don't have a bomb yet, so we can't. Let's see if we can get a bomb out of this. There you go. Damn it! I'm so annoyed that I picked up this active here. I could have had much better stats, and there's not really any good way of me dropping it now either. We'll buy this, and we get ourselves, unfortunately, just pure trash. Like, none of these are really worth us having. Soul of Eve's, like, decent enough, but it's not great. Ordinary life here is good. So, devil deal-wise... I don't think we want to go Devil Deal. I will go down to the downpour here. Yeah, I don't think we want to go Devil Deal just because... Does this destroy rocks? It does. That's interesting. Okay. I like that. That's, that's a pretty pretty good active. Um, I doubt it opens secret rooms, though. But yeah, I don't really want to... Um, I don't really want to use Devil Deal because I want to keep my hearts for, uh, for dying. Of course... We kind of need soul hearts on the floor to enable us dying. Like, I don't want to die now with this many soul hearts available. But at the same time, I kind of do. <laughs> but if we can get soul hearts available on the ground, then I totally will. That's so good. Um, but yeah, as for the question of the day, what is the... Um, for you guys, what has been, like, the, the coolest new thing in the new patch? Because obviously you guys have had a few weeks to play with it. So far, at least from reading the patch notes, what I think is the coolest is that um, a bunch of bosses got new champion visuals. Like, uh, the different coloured re-sprites and stuff, which I think is awesome. But I think just in general, the Lazarus rework and Blue Baby reworks are very, very good. Um, okay, so something intriguing is going on with these doors. It says that it's taking a penny to enter, but it's very clearly not. Uh, I know that Pay to Play got some new sprites, so that must be, like I said, a, neg a negative interaction with a mod, which is, unfortunately, pretty much bound to happen. My god, the radius on this thing. It's pretty much bound to happen. Um, when, a, when a new update comes out, it's gonna tweak and break some mods in certain ways. I'm sure there'll be an update soon enough to get that fixed and patched away. But we might be seeing that for the next few episodes or so here. We'll, we'll just have to see. So unfortunately, so far, we've not really gotten any decent way to kill ourselves. We've not really gotten any decent way to kill ourselves, which is, yeah, a bit of a shame. God, I love that. That's so cool. I'm loving Venus right now as well. Venus is very helpful. I don't know why people underrate Venus so much. Venus is so strong. And it's a health upgrade as well. So, we do have some health here. So let's check our care room real quick. Unfortunately, there's no health there. I will double up on, on our pills here. That's a health down. 
That's real unfortunate. <laughs> um, I think I'll just take chemical peel here. Okay. Let's go. I don't really think I want to do the uh, mirror dimension here. I don't think I need to. Uh, something I just want to check real quick. Can I open secret rooms? It can? Wow. Can it destroy these? This thing's incredible. <laughs> this is a very, very, very good active. Far better than I ever gave it credit for. It can open secret rooms and everything. This is crazy. Okay, I don't know what rerolled there. I, I got Pyro, which obviously doesn't do anything for me because it only gives you the bombs on pickup. So we essentially got... We rerolled an item into nothing. <laughs> Right, please don't give us a health down. It did give us a health up. Good. This is actually very, very nice. Okay, so I think next floor, we are reasonably good to, um... We're reasonably good to, to do a do ourselves a kill. Kill ourselves a little bit. Because the thing is, if we, if we want to kill ourselves, we get to, like, reroll all of our items in the meantime as well, so... Teratogenesis. I was gonna say I'm just gonna hurt myself on that. Ooh, that's all the cards. Teleport you to super secret room, reveal super uh, secret room locations on the current floor. Um, I guess we'll just pop justice here. Get ourselves a mini Isaac. We'll pop that. Here's another one of the new chests. This is, of course, a devil chest. Like I said, the spriting. Leaves a little bit to be desired, but otherwise... Oh, that was a very weird voice crack. Otherwise, they're very cool. Let's check what we got in this one here. This one gave us some black locusts. Interesting. So we do have some health available to us there. Let's start re-rolling our shit, shall we? Let's start re-rolling our shit. Kind of having Eden's lock here, it's, it's both good and bad. I'm trying to kill myself. <laughs> Let me run into you. Spirit shackles, you say. On death, Isaac Ghost is chained to his body and he can continue with flight and have a heart. Return to the return to life after 10 seconds. Must be recharged. We, do, we kind of don't want that, right? I don't think we want that. <laughs> is there a way we can re-roll it? It does look like we've lost Venus, by the way. I'll definitely take this one. Honestly, can't be asked for this room. <laughs> right, got an Empress card here. Th yeah, we can we can kill ourselves now. I I mean I can bloody well try, but not going all so well. There you go. We have died. And we got um oh Hollow Heart is pretty good. Although I don't know the the ghostly tomato thing's pretty good. Getting god headshots every now and again is pretty strong. Um, I think Hollow Heart is better for us, though. Right. Let's quickly go. I was wondering how we had the Empress effect then, but then I realised we've got Bloody Card. Bloody Card is going to create the Empress effect when we get hit sometimes. I need to remember that. That's going to be pr pretty useful. We've also got XP bar now as well, which is real good. I always like getting XP bar, because I'm sure you guys have noticed, whenever I get it, I add the little XP bar to the thumbnail, and I think it looks really good. <laughs> it's, a, it's just a, like a little sort of, a little detail. It's not anything like important or anything, but I think it looks really good. Good room to get flight in here. Come here, yo. It's interesting that Mallet only uses uh, two charges as well. Doesn't use like the full six room charge. Bomb there as well. But yeah, I think Hollow Heart is going to enable us to revive ourselves a little more regularly. I don't actually know though, because if they don't count as heart containers, then it might not. But if they do, then it's, it's very good. But if they don't count as heart, heart containers, then it might not work the way I want it to. Um, I think we'll buy Snake Oil here. 
and then we'll just get going, I guess. But this has already been very interesting. Playing as Lazarus is now a lot riskier, but a lot more enjoyable. You can you can really sort of play out the risk reward. Right, one moment. Right, let's keep her going. <clears throat> let's keep her going. This is a this is a very fun run so far we got going. Here's here's one of the new sprites. Look, Champion Gerdy now has like a new sort of color and resprite to it. It looks really good. Uh, we get Placenta here, which is great. More HP is good for us, and we uh, keep on going down. There, this 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 Lazarus will rework. I'm I'm vibing with it. I'm vibing with it. Right. So basically, for me, we need to find at least two soul hearts on the floor for me to want to uh oh, I, I hate these things. These grimaces are janky as all hell. Um we need to find at least two soul hearts on the floor for me to want to revive, really. That's kind of that's kind of what I'm thinking is like the most ideal setup. Because then we're we're still got a good amount of hits before death, but we still get the uh the pretty big stat boost. I mean, as you can tell. It's already, just in these first few floors, provided us with absolutely massive benefits. Got a health down pill there, which actually I do want to carry. Although, I don't know if Bloody Card can trigger pills. I doubt it, but you never know. It can trigger Soul Stone, so maybe. But yeah, like, we've got huge benefit. Like, we, we currently have two damage ups, but we're at eight damage. So we'd be at six damage already, which is pretty decent. Then we're getting all these stat-ups here from a uh, good old um, experience bar. There's definitely a few items in our roster I'd like to still reroll, like our urn, the clicker, um, placenta could go, the, the, the hand-me-downs could probably go as well, because that's just a speed upgrade. I, I'm, I'm annoyed that I picked up an active, but at the same time I'm very happy, because I'm figuring out how good this active is is making me happy. Yeah, nah. I was, I, was, I was considering it, but maybe not. Let's uh, bash on this, shall we? Good. Yeah, we're just kind of shredding through the floors right now. It's great. Can it destroy machines? It cannot. And here's another one of the new chests. This is the filing cabinet, which has a lot of paper-related items in it. And as you can see here, the divorce papers. Now, I'll, I'll basically I'll have to uh, I'll have to just play it by ear and and sort of experience these chests as we go along because so far they seem pretty common. But at the, at the other end, and there's our two soul hearts. At the other end, they don't seem all that crazy strong. So as long as they're not too strong, I'm pretty happy to keep them. But if they prove to be a bit too common and a bit too strong, then I might reconsider. Also, let's let's quickly go and do our angel deal first. See what we get from our angel deal. But then I've I've got kind of an intriguing idea. As long as bloody card doesn't get re-rolled via us taking damage, we could do some interesting stuff with the hero font here potentially, and actually get a bit more health than I was expecting. Ow. Okay, we got compound fracture here. Which is an item I very much like. Can you can you stop throwing out your children? Your shithead kids. Boss is so annoying. <laughs> Just stop. Alright, so we've got our angel deal. Latchkey will leave there as well. Pegatory is whatever. I'll bomb this, why not? My bombs could stop getting yeeted halfway across the room every time I used them. That'd be useful. Good. Right, now we'll go back this way. Again, leave Latchkey there because that's a soul heart just in case. We got a level up there apparently. That's one thing I've noticed with experience bar. Like, I got a level up there. Didn't get any stats from it or anything. It was just a level up. And I don't think that was a real level up. Do you? <laughs> right, so let's pop in here. Ooh, this is good. This is very good. Really? 
That's all I'm getting out of you? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Captain? Alright, so we'll see that item we've got here as well. Probably want to take Mum's contact here. I can't believe how good ordinary life is. It's so strong. Looks like so far, bloody card hasn't been working in our favour. Still hasn't been re-rolled, though. Oh, we've got D-pad now. Intriguing. Okay, so let's, let's use this room to try and get some black hearts. Okay, so nothing there. Right, so now we got to find somewhere to start hurting ourselves, which I don't know if we have a great place to do so. I'm sure there's a room with like a pit or something. I won't say a pit actually, more <laughs> like we can't throw ourselves in pits in this game. You know what I meant though. Uh, like, we just need like a fire or something. Oh, there you go. There's a fly. Look. So if we if we start hurting ourselves on this now, I'm really hoping that bloody card procs at least once before we die. There you go. The fucking tail just ruined that. God damn it. Why Why does this thing destroy poops? Okay, so we got some soul hearts there. Damn it. <laughs> like, do we have any? I don't think we have anywhere we can hurt ourselves anymore. <laughs> Damn, we done. We have anywhere we can hurt ourselves. I mean, we can go and use the curse room door and just, like, put our body on the very edge of it, which honestly is fine. That's a decent enough solution. Did not mean to pick that up. <laughs> that, this is why I didn't really want to use the, uh, the edge of the door. We got the halo out of that. And that's great. Okay, so we've got another two soul hearts here. So now we can pick up these soul hearts. We can carry on our way. Go back over here. Grab these soul hearts. And basically, as long as Bloody Card doesn't get removed, we have a pretty good way of, uh, of killing ourselves and reviving and staying at reasonably good HP. This has just added a whole new level of tactics to this character that is like so interesting. I'm loving this. Um, it's such high risk, but it's such an interesting way to play. Now we can grab Latchkey as well. And look at our HP right now. It's sitting so pretty. And there's potential to do it again on the next floor. Now if we can get a sacrifice room, then even better. Oh, we got one of these dudes. Um. I think maybe play this dude. Let's play out the floor first though. We still have D-pad as well, so we're getting some interesting stuff going on with that. We can fire it left. I think it's left is going to be continuum plus fire mind. Up is my reflection. Down is that. Um, and le uh, right is bouncy. Right is my favorite. Bouncy is always going to be the best. We've got butt bombs apparently as well now. Our items are changing so often, I'm just. It's so difficult to keep up with. But, fact is, things are actually going pretty well for us right now, so. Cannot complain. We'll try and clear out as much of this floor as we can. Basically, we just want to find as many red hearts as possible so we can play around with them. Try and get some soul hearts on the ground before we die. This is depths two, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. There was potential to make a boss rush, but I don't really think that's so so anymore. Scapula, not a great item, but there you go. We have it now. We do have an intriguing little shop here. A lighter. A soul heart there is good. We'll leave that there. And we'll do both of these opened. What's this we got here? Offers random discounts on all shop items. That's that's pretty good, but obviously this floor, it's uh, a little bit too late. And all of y'all are dead now. 
quickly check for secret room here. Not there. Could be here, actually, as well. There you go. This is one of my secret rooms, actually. It's a very interesting one. You, you think, oh, shit, you just got to use a lot of bombs, but you don't. Watch this. Teleporting destroys the, uh, the fires. Unfortunately, we didn't actually get many going on there. I think this is the last one. Yeah, there you go. It's a really cool little room. I just found that out by accident. Um, we didn't really get many soul hearts there, but we got enough. Right, so let's go back in this room. Still not out, found our item room yet. Here it is. And we're definitely taking purity, thank you. Oh, that's a that's a huge fire rate boost. What the hell? That's insane how big that fire rate boost is. Okay. We've got a lot of these rooms. So, now I think we go and play the Demon Beggar. I think the Demon Beggar can proc Bloody Card. I'm not actually entirely sure. Small rock, nice. Yeah, I'm not actually entirely sure on that, but I'm pretty sure it can. Bloody Gust. It's pretty good for us. So either way, we have two soul hearts on the floor, so I think I'm good to go for this. It's looking like it's not going to work. Or a Babylon. Okay. Okay. Unfortunately, the Hierophant did not pay out at all. Which is not what I was hoping for. But we can play into this dude and try and get a HP up. There you go. And then we can come this way. Now, the question is, do I keep the Hierophant now? Or do I use it and just get the two Soul Hearts? Because it's unlikely that we're going to be able to make revives work past this floor. Maybe I'll just save it and then see what happens. Right, so we've got one Soul Heart in the shop. And then we might be able to, uh, be, be able to get more than one in the shop here. Because... We can re-roll again. There you go. This is exactly what I was hoping for. So now, we've managed to get another revive. This is, like, such an interesting, just insanely interesting rework. Took one really cool thing about the character. Well, one unique thing about the character and made it really cool. That's probably the better way of saying that. We'll take that. Another soul heart. That's good. We might as well check in the devil deal at this point. Damocles, you say? Feels a little late for Damocles, but yeah. I would take it, but yeah, it's just a little bit late for it. Alright, so let's keep it going. So, we're now in a, in a, a pretty damn good position. I'm not a huge fan of that. Item-wise, we've managed to re-roll into a, an interesting setup. I think Horror Babylon is unfortunate. We don't really, we can't really utilize that, although the resprite for it is truly amazing. Um, Compound Fracture is really good here. Black Doll Experience Bar. Bloody Card. We've got some really good stuff in here. But yeah, I'll keep my Hero Font card on me just to try and get some Bloody Card payouts. But it does seem at least that you can't get Bloody Card payouts from... Um, Beggars, or at least it is a lower chance. I swear I've done it before, though, but there's a very strong chance that there's been a patch since then and it changed it, because it was very powerful. I don't actually know for sure. Do not take my word on any of this. I will open this. I was trying to change my aura. But unfortunately, I don't really think I got a very good aura in response. It's funny how uh, now, our, now our butt bombs are gold too. Yeah, you can see how much damage we're doing. And uh, I think it's black doll is meaning that we're killing enemies that we're not even near. Red Penny. Yeah, I'll take Red Penny. I, Hollow Heart is really good, but if we're doing revives, it's not amazing. It's more better for afterwards. Overall, it's a, pretty, it's, a, it's a pretty good thing to have. But I think the ability to get red rooms is far more interesting. 
good, good. And it's just it's just kind of crazy how like nicely uh, like where our health is sitting right now. We've managed to we've managed to pull off quite the crazy experience with new Lazarus here. But we've actually we managed to utilize him on a ton of flaws. Now, a little bit upsetting. I don't know what item we just lost, but we gained cold blooded, which means that I think killing an enemy gives us a stacking damage bonus. But if we get hit, we can take triple damage and lose the whole bonus. And obviously, triple damage on the womb is quite a lot. <laughs> but that is definitely a little scary to see. We've still got Blooded Card, though. I, I do need to check as well, by the way. I think that maybe the Golden Clicker got a rework, because... A respawns the player as a different character. No, it, do, it didn't. Okay, it just doesn't have a indicator for having a revive available as all. We got the two of pentacles here. No, this one. This one. Two of pentacles. Two of pentacles. That's my voice. It's me. And we've got a Degas here. Degas. And I'm just gonna take my hero form with me. The guards might have been better to carry, but Hierophant gives you two soul hearts, and it drops them on the floor, which is a little more useful. You have been bested. Death Sacrifice is... Do you know what? I think that's actually going to be really, really interesting in... Because um, if we take a little look at it, look. Um, passive effect. When you kill enemies, all of their enemies take damage. That's going to work really well with Black Doll. Which essentially does the same thing. We've also got a reflected Star of Bethlehem here. Which is going to give us two Star of Bethlehems. I genuinely don't know how that, that will work. But happy to have them, I guess. Also, we might as well do this. Do we have Lead Pencil? We do. Okay, I was wondering where, like, those huge, huge amounts of shots were coming from. Lead pencil. Also, just getting up to 18 fire rate when we're in the in the radius of that. We also got a zealot heart here, so we're going to get ourselves a little uh, little bit of extra something something on the next floor. Let's have a look what we get. We get ourselves camo undies. Nice, camo undies got a pretty huge rework. One second. So yes, we got camo undies. So basically, the reworked camo undies is pretty interesting. Now, when you enter a room, you get your invisibility as normal, but now you get a huge speed boost along with it. And when exiting invisibility, you gain a tier rate and damage up. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> they, they, they took it from a nearly useless item to a genuinely good both defensive and offensive item. So yeah, very happy to have that. Very cool to uh, be able to uh, see it on the first run of the new patch. Yeah, as you can see, we've kind of got past the point of wanting to kill ourselves now. Uh, I think I think that's gotten to the point where its usefulness is limited, just because we kind of need our HP and we're not getting as many avenues to gain our HP back, which creates problems for us. This is a really interesting setup we got, though. We're doing... So much like damage across the board whenever we like kill one enemy. You can see look at all the blood splats. It's kind of insane. So yeah, we kill like one enemy and everything takes damage. It's pretty awesome. But yeah, if we can keep the zealot heart alive even longer as well, that'd be good. Of course at the minute we're not really utilizing camo undies all that much, but we are always gonna be getting the brief tears up out of it, which is nice. Ooh, okay, this is definitely a better tick. Even more firepower. Look at the blood. <laughs> oh, it's incredible. Um, and I don't think... I... Hush is... Hush has a lot of potential for us here. But I don't think we need to do Hush. Nah, I'll do it, I'll do it. I don't think we'll die, so... I'm just not very confident that we won't lose out our, our uh, purity aura. So unfortunately, we did get a filing cabinet here. Uh, we managed to get um, our robo fly as well here. 
Poker chips, good, good. Pinball is probably the best one here, I think. Oh, there's something they said about Berserk plus Bloody Card. That seems like a combo made in heaven, that. Alright, quick ch check this out real quick. Buddy in a box is interesting. I think, oh my god, our pinballs. Holy hell. Brittle Burns. Replace all your heart, uh, all your red hearts. That'd be pretty good. Um, double tap shooting button to spear out a line of rainbow creep. Yeah, let's try it. Okay. I don't know if this follows us in. I don't think it does, does it? It does not. It has betrayed me. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to get through this with all this lag. Remember, I do have an anti-lag button, so I can just do that whenever I want. What the hell hit me then? Uh, do you know what? Oh, no. I've made a huge mistake. Arrested development style. I've made a huge mistake. I went in here with cold-blooded enabled. I, I, I'm able to take triple damage, and I just did. I was like, why the hell's my health so low? And yeah, I, I I took triple damage. Unfortunately, due to the just obscene lag, we're probably going to be uh, taking a little while to do this fight. Maybe I want to be trying with Fire Mind. Okay, maybe not. I don't know. It seems somewhat dangerous. Okay, that's a lot of blood. It's a lot of blood. I'm trying to just do flashes of uh, mysterious liquid, like look down for a frame while firing, because it turns all tears that are in the air into uh, mysterious liquid tears. So I'm getting like the best of both worlds. Yeah, this is still incredibly, going to be an incredibly close fight. Obviously, I have a revive, and if I need to, I can pop my hero font card. I'm just not all that confident in that right now. We've gotten to about the halfway mark, though. This also prevents me from using too many butt bombs, which I think was maybe what got me to hurt myself before. Okay, so yeah, we've just passed the halfway mark. I think that little curve in the health bar is exactly halfway. Kind of an interesting little tactic you can do here. I don't appreciate you getting ever closer to me though, sir. Especially when you decide to spew out a bunch of children. But, spewing out children does give me a nice damage boost. <laughs> so, I'm not going to say I don't completely hate it. <laughs> the creep is doing a good job as well. I would like to use bombs. Bombs are really good against Hush, but I just don't think I can. Dude, pop up already. Someone make a mod that just makes him not go underground. <laughs> It's so good. Look at this! It's going to go again! What are you doing? Not what, this is not how this game works. I can't go underground. What do you think you are, Doug Trier? Stop it. This has been a very strange fight. <laughs> the tactics that I've managed to use here are kind of bizarre. 
There's little weird green flicking tears all over the screen. It's getting kind of crazy as well. But there you go. We just about finished it out. Definitely a little, little on the riskier side than I was hoping for, I gotta say. We did re-roll a few items during that too. I do not know what got re-rolled. I'm not really seeing. It's kind of hard to tell. But yeah, with, with pinball now, we should be at the point where we are near unstoppable. There's going to be shit bouncing around everywhere. The hell hit me then? Okay, so unfortunately, I think we have to use this now. And we got so lucky. Holy hell. That was like the best paid out Hierophant I've ever seen. God damn. This is, we have been very lucky here. And we even got some keys back as well. This has been all sorts of good for us. All sorts of good. In like a few rooms, we got four heart containers. Crown of Greed spawns one uh, to two golden pennies and grants and one minus look for each penny. Ooh, that's a really cool little consumable. Not that we need it at all, but that's a very cool consumable there. What pickup should I say? By the way, I'm pretty sure, like, all of the Deliverance items got a resprite. I'm not sure if that's part of a mod that I'm using or Deliverance itself, but I used to think Deliverance's sprites were so-so, and, like, a week ago, considering the mod hasn't been worked in a long time, it got an update, and now they have, like, really nice sprites. <laughs> so props to the Deliverance team to, uh, for updating those, because they haven't been updated since, like, the, they were first made. So props to them for, uh, for working on those. They look a lot better. Soul heart there. Yeah, so I don't think we need to worry about you all too much, do we, sir? You did manage to escape me, though. But not for long. We do only have two keys, unfortunately. But we'll make that work. Well, this has just been a, a fantastic little Lazarus run here. Ooh, nice. Do not touch is good. I don't know, are Soul Blades still broken? No, they're not. Okay, Soul Blades are fixed. Oh my lord. Okay. Now that's a lot of Soul Blades. Another new one. We're getting a lot of new stuff here. Honeycomb. Lads, fine by me. Um consumes all enemies in a room depending on their total health either grants you a heart container or makes you spit them back out as assist enemy kind of need a, a room without just bosses here for this to work unfortunately this is another one with just bosses I don't know how anything's still alive in this room, I'll be honest. Okay, duck. Eight cents for a nickel. What a deal. Should have used it on that room. The perfect room for it. Perfect room for it, and I'm just like, ooh, press the pretty button. Boom. <laughs> Press the pretty button. Ooh. Triple A battery gold. Very good. Boom. <laughs> Got a key here. Ooh. <laughs> Why are they allowed to be on these floors? There's so many of them, too. Okay, that didn't... I tried it in this room. It didn't work. I knew there were bosses, but I thought maybe... There's a lot of segments. It didn't work. 
Although, wait, what? We got nine lives at some point. <laughs> I didn't see that. <laughs> There's just so many of them, it's crazy. Imagine if it happens in the Mega Certain room. That's a Dominic. Excuse me, I fighted my bomb and it deleted it. S stop throwing my goddamn bombs around. <laughs> Broken shell, and then Leo, why not? Are we are taking a bit too much damage right now. But we do have nine lives, so not all bad. What the hell hit me then? This just the, this is just like this item's insane. God damn, I might actually die because stupid cold blooded. Stupid cold blooded just made me take a ton of damage. Now I'm going into the fight with three HP. That's not good. <laughs> Two HP now. Okay. Another key, that's good. Although oh, we've got five now, I just realized. We're kind of okay on that front. I see you on that button, just remove yourself from it. Puric acid, why not? And a secret room too, nice. You need to just this room has to have like a, a lot of HP in it. It most certainly does not. Okay, so this is gonna be tricky. I'm kind of hoping that when we get hit, we just get really good item rerolls. Ones that you know save us. Unfortunately, firing up the whole time here, which with D-pad isn't all that good. We'd rather be firing like left, really, for maximum bounceage, or right for fire shots. Which fire shots are a little risky, definitely. Oh god, the bloody little horse thing got me. Um, I lost something there, and I don't know what. Ah, oh, that's a that's a death right there. We come back as Lazarus in the. I, I, I do think, unfortunately, we're going to have to say bye to Mega Certain. I gave it my best shot, but I think we're just going to have to leave. I don't foresee us surviving this. Another Crown of Greed there. You do you, sir. You do you. Might be able to get him into second phase before we die here. Indeed we did, but second phase is where things get a bit messed up. <clears throat> that did a ton of damage. I was wondering what the hell's going on, then I just realised Rock Guts there just saving our ass. Damn, we did it. That was unexpected. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. What a fantastic new introduction to the new Lazarus. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.